Hello, and welcome to day 37 of March for Humanity. Uh, it's been a day off for me, which has been very functional, organizing my traveling circumstances and resting my legs. And uh, it's a beautiful location I'm in at a campground in Poland underneath Poznan. And I had a, a call from somebody uh, who hadn't spoken to me in months. And so it was interesting to explain where I was and what I was doing. And uh, an idea came up in our conversation. She wasn't surprised, by the way. Uh, a lot of people are not surprised, by the way, to hear what I'm doing. But uh, I, one of my, now I think a shortcut for what I'm trying to do is throw rocks in ponds. I just want to cause as many ripples as I can. I think I've said this before, and I'm very grateful to those of you who are following along with me and hearing some things over and over. Many people, many people, I don't know, a dozen or so might be joining in along the way. So throwing rocks in ponds, and I guess at first I envisioned just causing ripples. And now I realize uh, I just want to throw a lot of rocks uh, in a lot of ponds. And any time I get the opportunity to do that, I, I'm going to try and take it. And you can all do it. Anyone can throw a rock in a pond. And what, what most people, I believe, don't do, they don't follow through with the thought that the ripples never stop till they hit some shoreline, some interference. So you don't have any idea where your comments, negative or positive, because one of the strongest impressions of this in my life was something very negative somebody did that I saw all the ripples uh, following, you know, they disappeared a day later, but I was there with uh, the repercussions. So think about it. Every rock you throw, every pond, uh, th there will be repercussions, uh, whether you think about them or not. So maybe people need to just pay a little more attention. And I listened just sort of toward recently uh, to a podcast where a man named Brian Mark Rigg was interviewed. He's a Marine and he had a lot to say about the situation in Ukraine and Europe and uh, he gave me a lot to think about there. And at the end of the interview, I find out that he's written a book that has just come out called Conquering Learning Disabilities at Any Age. Conquering Learning Disabilities at Any Age. And he had the multiple challenges of being ADHD, dyslexic, and with a speech impediment. Imagine that first grader. So he obviously overcame all these things, has degrees, and uh, has written this book. And I feel like that's a rock I'd like to throw in a lot of ponds. I was a teacher, and I understand how the system recognizes the normal kid and some some systems are better than others uh, however we we need to do much much better so if I could skip stones in a lot of ponds right now 
to suggest that anybody who knows someone having trouble learning might investigate this book or any other book. When my daughter was diagnosed in about third grade, by which point she'd almost solved her situation herself, she always self uh, managed. Uh, she did not want to go to special classes or anything like that, and she did very well. Other kids have um, don't have quite that uh, ability or support. And uh, I remember the book we found when she was in third grade was The Gift of Dyslexia. All children are wonderful. All children are wonderful. The world kind of mistreats them. So maybe check that out today and let that be the pond that ripples because a lot of those children that are mistreated, misunderstood, not facilitated, not appreciated and supported, maybe they cause a lot of the problems in the world. So take care. Be well. I'll be on the road tomorrow. We'll talk then. Bye-bye.